Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to make a wrap style baby carrier using three t-shirts, a pair of scissors, and a piece of yarn. So over here I have my three t-shirts, my yarn, and my scissors. Now I'm using size extra large t-shirts. The way I know I need to use that size, I normally would wear a medium, so this is two sizes up for me is I take the shirt, I try it on, one arm and my head through, so I have the hem over one shoulder, and it comes all the way down to my waist and up over my shoulder with room in the front for a baby. That's how I know size extra large is the best size to do. So, first thing I'm going to do is take the t-shirt and cut it straight across armpit to armpit. So all I have is um, a big tube. So here we go. I've got my t-shirt. Here's one armpit. Here's the other. This does not have to be perfect by any means. Just cut it straight across. Make sure you don't cut any fabric that may be underneath it. Okay, so you're going to do that to all three t-shirts, so you have a tube, okay? Now I've already done it to the other two t-shirts. So the way you assemble it, you have three tubes. Take two of your tubes, preferably from matching material. I didn't, so I have any, so I'm using one red and one burgundy. And what you're going to do is take two of the tubes tie them together in one spot. This is what you're going to use your yarn for. Now I would recommend tying it at least three times, that way you make sure that it's very strong. So, I've got my yarn. Tied it once. Tied it twice. Double knotted, I guess. And here's our third time. Okay. Cut off the extra. So now we have two loops tied together. Now we're going to go to the gray t shirt. What I have of my gray t-shirt is a tube. So, I'm going to take it, lie it flat, and this is the only slightly tricky part. I'm going to cut corner-wise from this corner to this corner through only one layer of the t-shirt. Okay? So, got this corner and I'm going to cut straight across to the other corner. Now, I'm just eyeballing it because it doesn't have to be perfect. Feel free to use a yardstick and a sharpie and draw a straight line if you want to. I'm not that picky. And you can see I'm not that picky because this shirt still has a little bit of the design from the back of the t-shirt on it, but I didn't really care. So now you have a big back portion that has two triangles that it comes to, okay? So set that aside. Now, I don't like the way just the yarn looks on this, so I'm gonna cover it with a little bit of gray from the top portion of my gray t-shirt. Actually, I'm gonna use, yeah, part of the top portion here. I'm just going to cut a little rectangle out about six inches by about 10 inches, just approximately. It does not have to be perfect, just big enough that I can fold the little edges in like that and then wrap it around my yarn, tie a knot,
like that. And then I'm gonna pull this out like this and then turn the knot to the inside. I guess it's not gonna matter. Not gonna matter, ha ha ha. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I've got my red tubes covered into the gray and then I have my gray panel. So, now I'm going to show you how to tie it and wear your baby. You can tell my baby's playing in the background by the funny music. So, you've got the two loops like this. The X portion is going to go on your back. So, I'm going to start by putting both over your head and arms to where it's on your waist like this. Now I'm going to step up so you can see here I have a burgundy one and a red one. The burgundy one is going to go over my right arm and I make sure the red one's on the bottom all the way across. The red one's going to go over my left arm. So now I have a crisscross section. Now I'm going to pick up my baby and put her in the carrier. Hey baby. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I was playing. So you're going to put one leg through here. <laughs> and one leg through here. Oops. <laughs> I put both legs through the same one. Okay, one leg through the red and one leg through the burgundy. There we go. So there's a crisscross here where she sits. Okay. Now you're going to want to spread it out across her fanny, her little hiney there, to make sure it supports her. And now this part is important, so you've got the crisscross part. Now you take the gray panel that you made earlier, which is nice and wide, and tie it here. And this is going to provide extra support. Don't mind my stretch marks extra support for her and for you. So, once you have it tied like this, then you can go ahead and spread it over your shoulders, make it a little wider. You can also do it with the baby facing out, which is what my baby prefers since she's six months old and she gets tired of facing mommy all the time. But, there's your baby carrier. Easy peasy. And it only took, what, 10 minutes? Less than that, about 8 minutes. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great one. I'll see you later.